Shane, it was a positive start. Where did it all go wrong? Uh, probably on the Ray Fatal and Mariner, no try there. We go 24-4, 24-4 there, I think, and and you know, it would have been a really nice um, head start, and you know, maybe the opposition are starting to look at the scoreboard, but we didn't handle that no try. What happened post that? They went and scored, you know, 18 unanswered points. So I thought there was some really good patches of football. Like we looked sharp every time we got into good field position. We scored tries, but um, you know, on the other side of things, defensively, we, were, we got blown away at the ruck, so we need to do some work there, but. And I thought there were some positive signs um, at different stages, but we need to show a little bit more resilience. You mentioned that the Taylor Mariner incident. There seemed to be a few of those where there'd be an opportunity squandered and then they'd march up the other end and score straight away. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Well, it happened four times, I think. Um, you know, we had a, an opportunity to score or, um, you know, over the try line and something didn't go right for us. Zach Lomax sort of climbed above him and nearly scored. and. He didn't butt, and it goes down the other end, and they get points. So, um, you know, there was, as I said, they're good signs, but we need to show more resilience defensively. Um, you know, if something goes wrong for us, we just uh, you know, let them march up the field, and they got points. A fair few points out there look good in that nine-minute period. Is it the, the easy tries at the other end that's the biggest concern at this point, sort of two weeks in a row? Yeah, I just think, um, you know. As I said, those wasted opportunities, and then, you know, we were lacking a little bit of leg speed in the middle part of the field. I thought today, you know, with Frankie Molo, Jacob Little, you know, Jaime Sello and Sue were all out. You know, four good forwards there, that we lacked just a little bit of leg speed, and that's where the Cowboys blew our ruck apart. And um, you know, and then they've been that team's been together for a while, and they just capitalised on it. But yeah, not happy about our defence, showing us some periods of improvement, especially offensively. I think we can score points, um, but we need to tidy that up. Hey, what was the talk like after, obviously, Patel and Aaron were set back, but there were a couple along the way. What was the talk like amongst the players as those setbacks started piling up and it was, it was getting away from us a bit? Yeah, well, we just talked about trying to do it one set at a time. You know, you get behind the post there and you just try and narrow the focus into that first tackle, first first set after you do the kickoff. And, you know, I guess kind of whatever I said didn't really matter. They were just marching down the field and scoring points. Like Flano said, we just didn't show enough resilience on them. still feel like it's a lot of new guys, it's a new team. There's still some old habits of just when it gets away from you, it, it really gets away from you. It's hard to stay in it for those tough periods. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it kind of shows the past. We show glimpses where we can play some really good footy and then you know, we switch off for five or ten minutes to get a couple of quick tries on us and then... Yeah, yeah, sort of fall to pieces. I know you said, said all off-season this was going to be a, a, a slow burn, things wouldn't happen overnight. Like Given the context of what happened today, do you feel that was kind of a reflective of a microcosm of where you guys are as a team? Yeah, I think we're better than that. Um, I think we just need to show some resilience defensively. We, you know, we showed today that we can score points and you know, we've got some players in there that you know can play uh, with the football, but... We just need to be better defensively, um, and yeah, it is a new team, you know, some new staff, new coaches, and all. And it's going to take some time, but I'd like, yeah, you know, like to think that we can be better than we showed defensively today. Um, yeah. uh, just some soft tries there, some soft tries there. You know, there's three or four on last tackle that we could have handled better, um, and you know, maybe at some points the Cowboys competed a little bit harder than us. Like to get him on back next week. Like, what changes do you think you need to make in? Well, Jacob Little will be back. Frank uh, Frank Mole will be back. Um, Jacob had a HIA, so 11 day stand down, so he'll be right. Frank had a week suspension, he'll be right. Uh, Harme Sello, we'd like to think he'd be right. He's been out, hasn't played for us yet, and he'll give us some experience and some leg speed in the middle. Um, and uh, Jaden Sewer should be right as well, so it gives us a bit of four good forwards to come back, but you know. That's not just going to solve the problem. We need to solve it as a group. Um, it's only uh, one restart, one set restart, about the 63rd minute. Um, indicate there wasn't a lot of sort of wrestle and slow the ball, slow the play the ball down. Uh, is that something you guys have sort of consciously tried not to give away penalties? Or um... no, I thought the ruck speed was okay. Um, we we thought we got blasted at the ruck, to be honest, in the middle part of the field that they were too quick for us in and around the ruck. So we didn't do a good enough job there. 
Um, yeah, and I didn't think that was too... I mean, the possession, obviously, the Cowboys dominated in the second half. And, you know, 60-40, and you can't win with that amount of possession. So we did, you know, play a bit fatigued, but, you know, we're our own, own worst enemy at some points. So. And you mentioned the, the Wolves coming back next week. Do you make any performance changes? Like, you stuck solid with a team that, that didn't sort of do the job last week. Do you, do you change anything else from a performance point of view? Yeah, it's something I've got to look at. Um, you know, I've given the opportunity to write to reply today. Did we reply? Um, you know, 40 minutes, I'd say we did. Um, the second 40, we didn't. So it's something we've got to look at as a club. Um, but, you know, as I said, we've got to you know, focus. I've got to trust this group to improve, and that's where I've got to do my job as well to make them improve. And um, did we improve today? I'm not quite sure. But as I said, we'll just keep chipping away and working hard during the week. And there's a football side there somewhere. Thanks, guys.